Hello everybody, what is up? It's your boy Mr. Grunt here, and I know I've been gone for, what, like a few months now? Pfft, like five or six? Something like that. But we are officially back. I had uh, just been dealing with some high school stuff, and now I'm just dealing with work stuff. So in that free time between work and school, I'll be recording some videos and doing live streams, of course, over on Twitch. So be looking over for that. But today, um, I work a lot on uh, GeForce An Anzel? An Anzel? Yeah, that, that thing. It'll be right up on the screen right here. Ta-da! And um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this image. And so, yeah, we're just going to do a quick little tutorial in which um, it's recommended that you both have Anzel, a graphics card at least a 1050 up, and um, Photoshop. Photoshop is really good for editing. If not, there's always Pixlr, which you can basically do this exact thing with. So, yeah, let's jump right into this uh, little tutorial thingy. So make sure you have the GeForce experience open. My computer takes a moment, so I'll just be cutting straight to when it starts. Alrighty, so here we are at the menu for the GeForce experience. So if you see on the upper right corner, there is a little green tab. That little thing that's three dots, that's the share option. You need to make sure you have the share option on. You can see my little mouse going over real quick. And then you can also go to settings and make sure you have your in-game over in overlay on. And you have Anzel with the ready option. Then just go back to home and exit out. And then we're going to be getting into the game. So I had a couple issues with OBS and getting um, the Anzel capture mode working. So when doing this, I had to externally... Um, make sure it was in windowed mode to get this to work and the frames because my CPU is really bad at the moment I'm getting a new one at the end of the week It'll be a AMD 3 700 So at the moment my frames were a little freaking out because I had OBS running in the background to do this Anyways, let's get into the game and show you all the rest of it So before entering the game when you're in the menu screen Make sure you have the skin you want and the planet you want to get on for your image Those are the two most important things you can't have it in a capture at all without these in mind Especially if you have a story you want to tell with your images So make sure before you enter your game that you have your character skin or the hero you want to use and the planet in mind Immediately it's the first thing you should get off the bat when you hit the menus so here we are in game, a little laggy of a gameplay. Don't worry, once we hit the Anzol GeForce experience, it'll all be working. Anyways, so make sure you have the emote you want. Hit F12, or Alt F2, sorry. Alt F2 are the two keys you want to hit, and you'll enter this menu. This is the Anzol Capture menu. Now, of course, um, here is our clone, our subject, and then our scenery is going to be all the destruction around the clone trooper. So now we have a field of view option in the camera settings. And of course a little roll, but we don't really want to mess with that too much unless you have a dramatic like Jedi image, something, I don't know. So I'm just setting up the scene a little bit. I don't want what I want to do because there's a clone in the upper left, so I'm just trying to figure it out a little bit. So this is a, me just live doing what I, I usually do to take a capture, and I'm just putting commentary over it at the moment. So right now you have um, the depth of field, you have fo uh, focus depth, far depth, near depth, blur radius. I don't personally mess with blur radius too much because I can do all that in Photoshop, but um, for this image, I do mess with it a little bit just because I like what I got here. So you can see me messing with that a little bit, seeing what the options are and how you can use the, all of these to your advantage. So the focus depth controls the far depth and the near depth, as you'll see. Notice how the closer part of the image area is going in and out when I mess with that, unless I hit the line past the focus depth line, which is on the very top. That is your 100% meter, basically. So I put it in the middle. Anything that goes past that little bar right there in the far or near basically controls everything that Anzel does. So yeah, um, I'll let it speed up a little bit and play through that. Right, look at the other filters. It's so not as important, of course, as the uh, green you know, yeah, and the roll, of course. So we go to added filters, there's all these other options. Not as important, of course, as the depth of filter green screen. So um, a lot of people like to use the details. I don't really don't know why. Um, I mean, it's cool, I guess. I just personally am not a fan of 
these options. Yeah, I can do it all in Photoshop, I guess. That's probably why. But they're there for you if you like using them. So moving on, we now have the green screen. Now the green screen is important for a couple reasons. Um, sorry for all the blue. I was working on a different project. Um, so what this basically does... Oh, there, there, come on. There we go. Past me is messing up a little bit. Um, we're going to take the foreground, which is going to be the subject and everything in front of the subject, which is the clone trooper. And then we're going to grab the background, and then we're going to have them do separate lighting, or we can have them all do the same lighting. It's just easier to have these two separate um, scenarios. As you can see here, I am now capturing both sides. And with finishing this up, we then move on to Photoshop. Its own entire beast. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna let this play out, but before I do, I'm gonna let you know the things I use are select color, selective color, um, contrast and brightness, most important thing, and the um, filter select color for the green screen. Filter select color. That is very important for your green screens. And select color for um, changing color values and what they should look like naturally. Um, it'll be very important for this image, and you'll see it while I'm editing. Um, there may be moments where I stop or not at all. Uh, I might just let it play out. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this end part of the video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and I will get to them immediately. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time. See ya. Okay, so I just wanted to say something about the foreground, um, in which the foreground green screen part. I'm actually erasing everything except for the clone trooper, because I just wanted the clone trooper for this part of the editing specifically, not the entire foreground, so I'm just erasing everything else. Very precise erasing, but it's pretty easy. It just takes a moment. So, uh, yeah, that's just to get this color depth. So, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. If you have any questions, again, let me know in the comments.